So let's begin our project recipe for coastal shores. Um, okay, so the recipe calls for two pieces uh, for your background. And the recipe suggested um, lagoon shimmer paper, which I was pretty excited about because I haven't really used this. So <laughs> pretty excited about that. And then three pattern papers from the pack. And I went ahead and numbered these. So if you're not following the project recipe exactly, you can kind of get an idea of where we're going um, with the pages that they um, recommended. So page number one is going to be this pretty heavy icon paper. It's cute with um, the little lighthouses and the boat, the sailboats. And it's going to be used as a layering piece behind the photos. And then I believe we yeah, we're flipping it over to uh, make a punch out. So if you weren't gonna use the backside of your paper, you would need to pull in something else for your punch out. Paper number two is a stripe. So, or any corresponding paper that would match with your icon paper. And this one is going to be used as um, stripes down the side of our page. And then the back side will be used for photo mats. Okay. And we'll talk more about the photo mats when we get to it, um, when we get to cutting. And then paper number three is another icon piece with all these shells, but it's a little more uh, muted than the first one. So it has these cute shells. And this one is going to be used, the back side and the front side is used for photo mats, it looks like. And one, little piece of this will be used on the side strip. Okay, so that's the papers, I numbered them. So <laughs> if you're not using these, you can kind of pull things that were similar. Okay, let me put those aside and get my mats. Okay, so first page we wanna bring in is number one. And the first thing we're gonna do is punch out the, the punch that we're gonna use. And the recipe calls for curious crab, which is the new one. And it's an inset punch. So you probably saw in my note that I said, oh, if you wanna follow this exactly, then you wanna grab an inset punch. So inset is what I like to call it. Knockout, I think I hear other people call it, but it stays in the paper. Okay, and I think we just need one row of this. Okay. Ah, uh, I should have checked the top. Oh, did I do it right? You want to make sure when you're cut, when you're punching it that it's at the top of the page so that the lighthouses are going the right direction when you're done. Thank goodness I it worked out like that. Cute little crabs that come out. I don't think we're going to be using these, but you might want to decorate with those later, even though they're brown. We have sand crabs in California. I don't know if you guys do, but um, down here. So that's what our crabs look like, like brown. And then it suggests to cut it at two inches. I want to show you what they do. So they it's a pretty wide border. And so the crabs are at the top and then they use, because it's light brown, they use it for um, their journaling area. So I wanted to point that out in case you want to go a little thinner or wider, but the rest of the paper is being used for something something else. We want to trim this one at five inches. And it'll go like that. Let me bring my boards back. The five inch will go on the left hand side and the seven inch will go up there on the right hand side. And then with the rest of this paper should be, we took off two inches, so it should be 10 inches left. These are gonna be our layers right here in the center. So we're gonna cut a, one at five inches and one at seven. Okay. And then the big one will come over here. It's gonna line up with your next to your crabs. 
and then the five inch will come over here. So we just did a 12 inch across, across that way. And it looks like it comes down about an inch from the top, but we're still not done anyway. We need to cut some more paper. So we're gonna move on to paper number two, which is the stripes. We do not have, really have a directional piece with this. They have the stripes going vertically, or I guess I'd be horizontally. And we're gonna trim it at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. And we need two of those, one for each side. Same, same size. Two and three quarters. And now the rest of this, we're gonna turn over and use the back side for photo mat. So if you're not ready to cut that yet, then hold off. And I am gonna hold off because I'm not sure how big my photos are gonna be. I might play with the size of my photos. So this is um, gonna be all for photo mats, some on the first page, and then the two little ones off to the side right there. And then it's gonna come over here right to the edge and then the crabs are gonna rest on top of it. And same over here. Like that. And that's the page layout. Well, actually it's not, <laughs> let's do the last piece because a very small portion of this is gonna be used for the layout. And then the rest is going to be um, for photo mats. So we're going to use this cloud paper and we're gonna trim off um, two strips of a half an inch. And it's gonna come right here next to our stripe paper on each side. And then we're gonna actually put a border sticker on top of that. And then the rest is gonna be used for photo mats. So if you didn't wanna do that, then you can maybe choose a colored cardstock for this little strip or maybe nothing at all. Just give you options. <laughs> And there's one. And two. Okay. And I'm gonna I am gonna hold off on cutting my mats for just a moment so that I can make sure I my photo sizes. Or punch out one more time. It'll go like this and like this. And this. And like that. So we are ready to adhere. And I want my regular. Okay. This will go right next to our stripe paper. And before we put our crabs on permanently, we wanna put our border sticker. They recommend this one right here. I don't know what that shape is. I know there's a name for this shape. The very one you see at ports and stuff all the time. Okay. And it's going to go right on the edge of this half inch strip that we just put on. And I'm going to line up the center of the border sticker right at the edge of the half inch strip. So it'll go right down the center. There we go. 
Oh, that's pretty. And then this one, like we said, we're going to bring it all the way to the inseam here and we're going to bring it down about an inch and up about an inch because it's a 10 inch block. There we go. Okay. Why does mine look crooked? Hmm. Did I punch it or cut it wrong? Let me try that. Let's see here. I'm going to take the whole thing off. I'm going to actually bring in my ruler. Why does that look so crooked? I rarely do this <laughs> because not my style, but I want to make sure that looked really crooked. So I don't know if it's my paper cut. Let's get this lined up perfectly at 11. That's what it is, maybe. Maybe it's so hot I'm delirious. <laughs> um, okay, let's try that. That looks good. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. I think I cut it wrong. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that and trim that if I have to later. Yeah, because that's much straighter. Okay. And I'll go ahead and adhere the other side. Okay. And our little half inch strip will go next. And our border sticker. There we go. Let's see how I do with this one. And again to the inseam, down about an inch. Oh yeah, see that already looks better. That's so weird. There we go. And now our crabs can go, come back. And this one's gonna, it's gonna level right up with the top of this block. Actually, wrong one. In the picture, it's not at the top. It's not? No. Oh, it's not? <laughs> I can't tell how far it's supposed to be down. Maybe a another quarter half of an inch, inch from the yeah, top? It looks like about a half an inch to me, but you're right. Okay. Thank you. So we're at one inch. And uh, let's see, come down to about there oh a half an inch is quite big isn't it i guess 
Um, I'm going to lay mine lightly in case my photo, I think that's where I was going to make my photos different, that vertical one. I don't think I had a vertical. So I'm just going to lay mine on there gently and do the other side. I'm using, I did use Rico on the other one, so in case I have to move it around. So this one's a half an inch also. I guess you really could do it if you want it more or less. But yeah, good eye. Okay, there we go. That's the actual layout. Why does my, oh, you know what? It's a piece of paper, isn't it? There we go. Let's see, they have two horizontal. How was I gonna do this? Um, I have one vertical over here. I mean, horizontal. Oh, this is gonna be a small one. Wasn't sure about that. These pictures are <laughs> very old. Um, I think I was gonna do this and this. And that's right, the vertical photo. This was gonna be the four by four. Yeah, I think I was gonna do a four by four over here. Do I have room for two four by fours? Okay, I'm gonna try. So. Now you can mat your photos if you want. You can use different paper if you want. I mean, of course you could have done that this whole time, but um, we wanna bring back in these scraps for photo mat matting if you want to. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try it over here. I do feel like it needs something on this pattern paper. So I'm gonna try it. We have plenty of room to keep a full size four by six photo there and put a, a nice mat around. Let's see what they cut it into. Was paper two? Yeah, four and a half by six and a half. Let's see, probably already a six and a half. Yeah, it's already a six and a half width. So if you're gonna use it for a photo mat, you can do a four and a half inch cut two times. And it's gonna go like this. And like this and could put a little space between them. Really covers up that icon paper though. Okay. And over here we have two four, four by four photos. So let's see. Hmm. Let's do that. And this one, the little tiny one is going to be, wow, okay, so it's going to be a three inch square. I guess it's as big as you want to make it. How's that? Because <laughs> you have room over here if you want it, unless you're going to put two. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So let's see what I have here. Actually, I can trim mine down pretty small. Let's try two and three quarters. Wow. 
and let's see this direction two and three quarters that's pretty good okay and let's see these photos since I don't have a vertical I still should be able to fit a four for sure a four by four there okay and some mats this little one is going to be supposed to be a three by three but it, they didn't oh yeah they did this last strip that we have of the polka dot should be a three inch width and we're going to cut it into two three by three inch squares and then that last little piece is trash and then this is going to get matted onto that that's kind of cute and then this is going to hold a title or something if you want it to and it will look like this kind of fills up that area down there okay now mats for my other ones i have three that are four by four and this big one over here is also a four by six so they have you us cutting mats for all of those four and a half Four and a half. Okay, I think I should have enough paper. Even with my different photo sizes. So <laughs> we'll go four and a half. And six and a half. And that will be for this one over here. The seashell side up if you like that and then a four and a half inch square I believe this is scrap and it should go over here with the seashells up as well okay I just have two more photos to mat I need a four and a half inch that's scrap. Is that scrap? Yeah, it is. And four and a half. This one is the cloud side up. And I'm going to turn it four and a half. Okay. I wasn't too sure about all the pattern paper, but I kind of like it. I'm just going to adhere my photos. And then they actually went like this. And I think I like that they overlapped this one, which is going to be a title block and perfect because I, oops, I have some railing that I want to cover up. So that will be perfect. Let's see. I like that. Oops. And let's keep this one loose for a minute. Done with that. Oh, because I have this area open down here now that they didn't have. So I'm thinking of bringing in a, journal a journaling map for right here on this side. 
let's see. Some cute ones, brown. Blue, um, a circle. Hmm. Another circle. Okay, I have to make a decision here. Brown is nice. Too much green. Hmm. I'd have to get my custom cutting system out if I want to cut the circles. An oval. Hmm. You love ovals. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, should I challenge myself and use an oval? <laughs> the blue is kind of nice. I do like the brown better, though. Kind of pops out a little more. And I'm not a fan with the ovals, with the stripes going the opposite direction than the stripes on the page. Oh. So you would want it to go that way. And, and oh, it just looks weird. Also... The stripes together just looks weird. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna. You just convinced me. I'm gonna use brown <laughs> <laughs> and a nice little square, <laughs> and it'll tie in with the crab paper. Exactly. I was thinking that because it's gonna make a nice little visual triangle. <laughs> Let's see here. Three inches. Three inches. Why does that look so three and a quarter? What? It might just. Oh, it is three and a half. Ooh. Three and a quarter it is. There we go. Got two on that. So that's nice. I'll be using that one for sure. Let's see if I think I'll butt it right up next to that other one. Why not? Everything else is kind of touching. So well, I can hardly see any of my um, my border sticker. Let's see. Maybe I want to tuck it up underneath. I could move this up and just use a little spot. And that actually makes kind of like my vertical photo that I'm missing. And I still have those two at the bottom. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, let's get some tape. Okay. Where's my little sticker sheet? Well, this one looks too big for my little square. Let's see. Oh, maybe not once you pull it off. I think I might pop that up onto some foam tape. There we go. Hidden Cove's Endless Discoveries. That's cute. Yep, go ahead and just take that down. Okay, now on, let's see, where did they embellish? Oh. They did, where's my circles? Here they are. 
they did up here, they did down here, and they did over here. I'm sure, I'm going to do that. I might move since I have some room up here by my crabs, I might do a little something up there. We'll see. Okay. This one, I brought in a sticker, which matches our icon paper. So I'm definitely going to use that. We didn't have a lighthouse here, but we were on Catalina and it kind of has this little, I think that's what they call that a casino. I think that's what it is. I, I don't know. I've never been inside there. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh-oh, I'm going to commit to this one. It pulled up my whole, my whole thing. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how much of the crab I want to show. The silly little choices we make, right? <laughs> there we go. And then another title it says Coastal Charm. I like that. I think I might pop this one up too. And it's going to go right up here above our tight above the photo and overlapping the lighthouse so let's get some the small squares will work good okay oops that's my trash can And it's going to go just like that. I like that because it covers up that little bit of a little goalie that was in between there from the papers matching up next or budding up next to each other. I like it. I have some little extra crabs when I was playing with this punch and I punched it out on some red um, pattern paper. I think I'm going to put it right here. It's not to scale. <laughs> but that's okay. Because if so, it would be a giant crab crawling up that lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cute. Okay. Now down here, I'm going to continue what they did and just do it right here on the corner of my journaling box. I think that's going to work out pretty good. Let's see. Oh, it's a pretty big sticker. It's this one that has a little cattails. So I'll bring it down a little bit and pretty much to the edge of the paper. And then the little seagull. He's cute. And I'm going to pop him up on a little bit of foam. I'm going to use the little ones again, I guess. One, two, oh, dang. Put the little seagull right down here. That's cute. It's popped up on a little bit of foam. And that's what I'm going to do on that side. And then on this page, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do what they did here. I'm just going to probably use the same stickers, but bring them up there to the top. I think. Let's go ahead and do these. One, two. I'll come to the corner of the photo, I think, is what I'll do. I do have some cute seashells and stuff. Hmm. Maybe this little one right here can go right on top and I'll get some foam for that. Oops. And there we go. So I just moved that one cluster 
up to the top. Let me go ahead and push those down, <laughs> commit to those. Okay, let me come on back and stop the recording.